Excuse me, but I couldn't help but notice how beautiful you are. Oh, th thanks, but I'm a married woman. You're fucking lost, b Your ass is ugly anyways. I, is this what goes on in nice guys' heads? Like, is this what they think is gonna happen? Like, oh, they're gonna insult her and she's gonna suddenly change her mind? Like, oh, he insulted me. Suddenly, my husband seems so much less important than dating this random guy. The delusions of nice guys. Special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are going to be once again returning to r slash nice guys. Very quickly before we begin, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First of all, no makeup today uh, for the reason that literally as of like less than an hour ago, I had a couple holes put in my nose. So I really don't want to risk getting anything in those holes. Uh, I don't think that would be a good time. So no makeup today. Also, if my nose ends up like red or if I sound like I've got a blocked nose, at any point that's probably why the other thing i wanted to mention is that as always i will be streaming on thursday so come check that out um there will be a week that i'm not streaming coming up this month i will try and make a point of stating that beforehand i might forget but that will be in in two no three weeks i won't be streaming on the 22nd basically so I'll try and remember to mention it, but just so you know, uh, in three weeks, there won't be a stream. But up until then, there will be a stream every Thursday. I'm rambling. Let's get into the subreddit, shall we? I would really like if you acknowledged me, ma'am. Wait, what? Facebook, you never react to my comments. I didn't know I was obliged. You do realize that's my husband's page, right? Okay. You know, your first cousin. So I can't comment you look nice? Not when you're leaving emojis, insinuating there's something weird between us. You cannot. Come on now, big cuz knows I'm not like that. That may be so. It makes me uncomfortable and he said he checked you about it as well. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Thank you in advance for future impulsivity. By the way, you are not the only hot wife in the fam. Just so you duly noted. At least I'm nice enough to humble you. Thank you so much. I really needed that. The <laughs> I'm I'm nice enough to humble you, basically meaning I'm such a nice guy that I insult women who don't return my interests, ignoring the fact that they are already married to my relative. You never respond to my weird creepy messages that I send you even though you're married to my cousin. How dare you? You're not the only attractive woman in the family, you know. <laughs> what? What? Oh, these people are so weird. This is so weird. Hey, this is Oscar from Take 5, letting you know that your car is ready. Awesome, thank you so much. I'll be right there. No problem. Hey, what's up? You there? Yeah, isn't this the place I got my oil changed? Was something wrong with my payment, or? This is Oscar, lol. Right, from the place I got my oil changed, right? Did I need to follow up with y'all about something? Nope, just wanted to say hi, haha. <laughs> how are you? So you're just texting me to text me? Yep, and to see how you're doing. I'm fine. This is a little strange. I've never spoken to you outside of getting my oil changed where you work twice. I also have a boyfriend. Strange how. I'm just trying to make friends and you're making me seem like a creep. How else am I supposed to make friends? Girls like you are the reason guys don't approach females as much these days because they're deep afraid of being labeled a creep just for putting their self out there. I thought you would be nicer and get it. Forget I texted you. Bye. Oh, and who cares if you have a boyfriend? Did I even ask? Lol. Like I'm trying to date you? What a joke. I was just trying to make friends. Get over yourself. Even if I was interested, I'm not anymore with that snotty attitude. Your boyfriend is probably miserable being with someone like you. Poor guy. Dude, I'm trying to work right now and you're blowing my phone up. Stop texting me or I'm gonna call both your work and the police. My boss won't care. Go ahead and try. What are the police going to do? You're a trip. Alright, I'm blocking you. Don't contact me on this number ever again or I will make good with contacting police. D I... <laughs> 
You can make friends with people. You can go out and make friends with people. You can have romantic connections. Both of those things are fine. What's not fine is contacting an ex-customer through a work number and trying to chat them up through that work number. And I guarantee that your boss would not be fine with that. And I really hope she does actually contact his boss about it because I guarantee that she is not the first and will not be the last person that he has tried this with. It's not okay. It's not okay. It would also not be okay if he saved her number and contacted her through his own number because that would be weird as well. You can meet people, you can make new friends, and you can make rel romantic connections, but you don't do it through work, okay? You don't randomly hit up ex-customers. You don't try and find out who they are. If you want to meet people, go to a bar. Go to somewhere you meet people, a social gathering of sorts. There are plenty around, you know? Join a club with people that have similar interests with you. Don't try and hit up ex-customers who literally just met you because you changed their oil. Don't do that. That's weird. That's weird. Also, the way he goes like, and even if I was interested, I'm not anymore with that attitude. Like, okay, the, the point is, even if you were interested, she doesn't care. She's in a committed relationship. You being interested or not changes nothing in that regard. <laughs> He's like, even if I was interested, you lost an opportunity to not date me because you're already seeing someone else and wouldn't want to date me anymore. You're lost. Like, she doesn't care, dude. Go away. Why aren't you picking up? Sorry, I can't pick up right now. If this is important, you can text me. I am very disappointed in you. What is this behavior? I never thought you would turn to be like one of those girls, like one of your perverted friends. Huh? My son have told me about the ridiculous way you reacted when he simply asked you out for a simple humble date. God, reading this dude's message is a stroke. It was not such a big thing. I don't understand why you would go out of your way and disrespect him and be like that. I have known you all your life and you're like a daughter to me. And you doing this and disrespecting me and my family is unacceptable. Just wait until your mom hears about this. I have a feeling your son hasn't told you the whole story. Oh, he told me everything. Every mean and horrible thing you've said to him. The way you told him you were out of his lead, that he was ugly and did not make enough money, and did not meet your skyrocket standards. I've heard about it all. Well, let me tell you something, young lady. You cannot speak with such disrespect to him. This New Age movement had deluded you in thinking that there's no value in dating a good man. It's honestly so sad seeing you turn into one of them. I pray for your mom and dad and for your future husband who will have to deal with this altitude for the rest of their lives. High standards? I told him he got in to collect when I was born and that was it. I never said anything else. And how is that a problem? You know he truly, really cared about you and liked you for a truly long time. What? Like, I'm 18 next month and the dude is like 45. He is 39 and he doesn't look a day older than 30. How is that better? You are being picky. There is nothing wrong with dating someone older than you. In fact, it's way better. But you don't know that because you've been brainwashed. And at least you could have been more respectful in the way that you rejected him. I've never seen him like this. He's so upset. I know my son deserves better than you. When you say he liked me for a very long time, do you mean like when I was 12? I am not continuing this conversation with you anymore. I will talk with your mother tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Okay, bro, it's like midnight. I can't do this anymore. I'm blocking you. And good luck convincing my mum that I should marry someone her age, lol. There's layers to this one, but the dude just keeps on digging a hole. Like, so clearly his son, who's 39, and she's not even a legal adult yet. So that's a, that's a big yikes immediately. But then he goes on about how his son claimed that she said that he didn't meet all her unrealistic standards. So he made sh** up. So she's supposed to somehow be convinced to date him after he made sh up about her. He's literally more than twice her age. She's not a legal adult yet and he is nearly 40. And and he has his dad. He's a 39 year old and he has his dad harassing a not even 18 year old because she rejected him. <laughs> it's so, so pathetic. And this full grown adult who is the dad of a 39 year old is going, I'm going to tell your mum that 
that you've rejected my son who is twice your age and has liked you for a very long time. He's had feelings for you for so long, meaning he has liked an underage girl for so long while being a fully grown adult. I mean, he could have liked her for 10 years, okay? She would have been eight years old and he would have been in his 30s still. Okay, he would have been 29, but he would have basically been 30. Like, even if he liked her for five years, he would have been 34, yeah, and she would have been 14. Even if he liked her for two years, she would have been 16 and he would have been 37. It's not good no matter how you look at it. <laughs> Is it? It's not. <laughs> Hope you find the person you're looking for. Sex would be different. Huh? Nothing. I'm not looking to hook up, if that's what you're asking. Men just be saying anything, huh? I guess. I was just trying to take you to get food. Oh, really? I'm religious. I can't. I don't know if you're trying to be, but that's funny. What? I'm tired and the more you talk, the less I like you. So take care. Bye. Just wanted to fuck, to be honest. The f*** you thought this was? Goodbye, have a beautiful day. Now for real, I got mad respect for females. Disgusting. Get a life. Dude really- what? So he's looking to bang. He got rejected and went, I was just trying to take you out for a date. And when she went, yeah, but I'm still not interested. He went, I was just trying to bang you anyways. <laughs> what does he think the outcome's gonna be here? She said no, bro. She said no. And arguing isn't going to change anything. <laughs> <laughs> and the final post, we're gonna end on a real funny 360, not 360, 180, that's the one. Just a real quick turnaround, okay? What do you typically go for in a person? Emotional intelligence, humor. Emotional intelligence, what do you mean? First time hearing that from someone. Self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, social skills. My emotions are 100% in check. No worries there. Social skills, but I hate people and they get very flustered and panic. You seem pretty genuine though. Would love to know you. Thank you. Of course. Planning on sleeping soon, I hope. And then uh, the next morning. LMFAO, what did I do? And here you are ghosting. That's crazy, bro. You're something else. It's a okay. The more I looked at you, the more you were really fat because you're a fat f Lose some weight. Also, your kids are ugly as f I fell asleep. Oh my god. So those emotions- <laughs> Whoa. So those emotions are 100% in check, right? <laughs> Literally, it took less than 24 hours. It took one night. She fell asleep and that's all it took for him to just 180. I despise you. You're fat and ugly and I never want to see you again. Like, wow, dude, your emotions are really in check, huh? Literally, like the one, the first cry criteria she gave was emotional intelligence and this dude just spun around and was like well let me tell you i do not have that in any respect <laughs> good god <laughs> And that's where I'm going to end the video, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> As always, if you would like to support me, then I have a Patreon in the description down below. Or equally, you can click on that join button on the channel to support me. It helps a lot more than you might realize, but by no means should you feel like you have to. I'm going to keep making content regardless. A huge, massive special thank you to all of the wonderful, amazing people that do support me on my Patreon and all my YouTube members. You guys genuinely help so, so much. It means a huge amount that you guys are there. So thank you to everybody that does. Other than that, thank Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed and as always I will see you in the next video. Peace out.